About 40 counties in Kentucky have declared themselves Second Amendment sanctuaries, and Floyd County joined that list last night. I attended last night's fiscal court meeting where officials faced a massive crowd and voted in favor of becoming a sanctuary for the Second Amendment to the U.S. Constitution. It was standing room only in the Floyd Fiscal Courtroom as the county's magistrates voted unanimously in favor of declaring the county a Second Amendment sanctuary. Four. Four. Resolution passed. Thank you all. Like in Pike County, Floyd County's resolution is a symbolic declaration stating the county will object to any proposed legislation that may run afoul of the Second Amendment. Well, it's, uh, it's encouraging uh, that we got, uh, we got the votes we needed to do this. Uh, what's more encouraging, the fact that uh, we had a couple hundred people to come out for our meetings tonight. Uh, it's inspiring to see this many folks in, in support of our fiscal court and our Second Amendment rights. This vote is more than, uh, than just being symbolic. This is a call to action. Folks need to realize that uh, 40 miles up the road, uh, uh, you know, from, we're that close to the state of Virginia, uh, uh, gun owners' rights are being trampled on. And, uh, you know, it, it, we need to take this serious. Uh, and, and when I mean a call to action, I just mean you need to get involved in your politics, in your local communities. Uh, you need to understand the folks that you elect to put in these positions and their platform and the potential outcome. Uh, too often we vote for folks because he's a good old guy. He's a local fella. Uh, you, you need to check out uh, what these folks stand for before you go pull that lever. As in other local counties, including Letcher and Pike, Floyd County's resolution was born out of concern over the controversial gun legislation being considered in Virginia. We, t we do take our Second Amendment rights, um, uh, you know, we take it personal. And we are, we are lawful gun owners and we want to be treated as such. This particular resolution has no specific language in it that says they will do anything other than to announce their support for the Second Amendment and for the rights that it guarantees to people. It doesn't actually express any specific that the county will do or won't do. What it does say is that the members of this fiscal court support the Second Amendment to the United States Constitution, supports gun owners, those would-be gun owners, and we believe in the idea that the United States Constitution say that no law shall infringe upon the rights of people to keep and bear arms should be carried out just as the original framers of the Constitution intended. County Attorney Keith Bartley said the county may consider further action if legislation contrary to the Second Amendment is proposed in Kentucky. He's confident, however, that won't happen. You know, am I concerned? Maybe. Do I think there's a snowball's chance in this world that there will be any anti-gun legislation passed in Kentucky? Absolutely not. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Chris Anderson.